Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to my Minecraft survival series. Today it is episode 15, and it's going to be pretty busy, I think. Well, the next couple of episodes are going to be very busy. It's been quite a long time. See all the visual glitches going through there. It has been quite some time since we were last on the server. Probably over a month now. So since that time, I have done a little bit of AFK. I haven't put a fence there because there's zombies just everywhere down here. As you won't get through. So, this, this bit here is just like a place that kills my, my frames. So, we're starting to get quite a decent amount of arrow uh, arrows in there. I'll just quickly grab a couple more for in my own inventory. Getting quite a bit of string. Getting quite a bit of gunpowder you can see here. Whenever the farm ticks in, we get quite a bit of frames. Getting quite a bit of rotten flesh at hand. The slime balls are actually just rolling in, like, look, look how many we've got. I don't even know if we can even need that many. So let's just fly up here, and today, I thought, well, we're going to start work on the island. But, first off, I thought, we've got so many chests lying around. Lots and lots of chests, and we really, this is supplies for the island here, for my terraformit. But we've got lots of chests lying around of just junk, as you can see here. So I thought first off we need to do today is we need to go ahead and we need to really expand the storage system. How we've got it dropping down by two blocks here. I thought we need to go ahead and just like got insta mine moved here, moved the beach over. So what we need to do is we need to clear out another quite a large area. And we need to leave a little gap through here. And this is where we're going to be doing our next storage system here. It's going to be on either side, and this is all going to be hooked up. But eventually we'll have the whole island automated. So meaning like, items from the iron farm will all go in. So we're just going to start working on tidying up the base. It has probably been hmm, quite a few episodes since I've actually checked how much iron, if this iron farm is even working. Because I don't think I've checked, no I haven't checked that. The only time I've ever checked this on camera and it, it, it's doing poorly. Not even five sticks of iron, that's pathetic. So we need to get some more iron, that's the first off that we need to do. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear out a area down underneath here for the expansion of the storage system. So I'm going to go ahead, tidy up this here and drop it down and get it ready for the storage system going. I'll be back with you guys once. Okay everyone, the giant hole has now been dug. As you can see, you see, this is where the item sorter will be going, with the rest of it anyway. And then I'm thinking once we get to the end, we're going to have like a mass storage system placed down. This is like, before we're going to take up like a mass lot of mobs there, because it's like a mass spawner here, because nothing else can spawn anywhere. But I'm going to go ahead now, place in all the chairs, place in all the redstone bits, and try and really place in hoppers, which I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to do. So the system's going to come in, and the hoppers are going to wrap around here. They're going to go up here, they're going to wrap around the end, and they're going to come right down. And then down at this bit here, we're going to have a bulk storage system. I'm not even sure yet if I'm going to have a... Because um, I was thinking to put a little, like, an exit going out here. But I'm not sure about that yet. But all of this here will be eventually headed when we do up the island. Because that there will be all underneath the island, because it's going to be quite a big project to do it. Let's try and land in here without dying. Yep, so quite a few mobs there. So what I'm going to do now is, as I said, just going to put in all the chests, all the redstone. Go away mobs. Go away skeletons. There we go. Better archer on this than I am on Skyrim anyway. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And I'm going to probably clear another area because this is where I might put a little Sugar cane and a melon and a pumpkin farm in here. Just a little compact thing. Just just so we can at least get some bits and pieces going along. All growing. And I'll see you guys once I have done all of that. Okay everyone, it has been five hours since that last clip. And let's, let's show you what it looks like now. Let's turn around. Oh, we've got some stairs there. We've got a little no kelp sign up here. But when you walk in through here, we've got amazing slabs going down. We've got a little item elevator going up here. It goes along the roof and drops items down into this hopper here. This little room here. We've got little displays of trimmed trees, stripped logs. 
We walk down here to the lovely little pathway. We've got, this is where we're going to put in some farms very shortly. We've got little patches going along here, glass, and you can see I've redone the box, the roof. That's something to say. And I've also gone ahead and reorganized all our blocks as well. So that all together, as you can see, we've got going along here, all our ores, we've got all our bits going through here. We've tidied up the end here as well, added the pistons in, and we've tidied it up completely. All these chests are going to go shortly. You can see straight into the redstone. All the roof will be covered over in the next episode. Then when you walk down here, and we've got all the raw ores. Then we've got our nether supplies, nether warts, mob drops, some mob drops. We've got sandstone, bricks, and we've also got ourselves some lovely obsidian. Plus some ocean stuff, which is a pickle, which I didn't mean to push up there. We've got a nautilus shell. We have got ourselves some phantom membrane bits from iron golems and we've got snow ice other bits and pieces here I, I keep walking over this and we've got just got blank sections here most of this won't probably be used that often but that's what i've done i've gone ahead and i've built the rest of all the items sort of here so what my plan is i don't want to go through there is we're going to start work on a pumpkin a melon farm here and a little sugarcane farm is going to be going in here very shortly. But first off, I need to go through and I need to empty all of these items here. And then, yeah, process them all through the lovely item sorter. But my plan is originally, as we have got an item elevator going up here. So this is what we're going to be hooking in our iron farm to. That's going to be hooked into the main storage system, and same for our. Let, let's let's just let's just quickly get up here. Where are you, Phantom? I heard a Phantom. Where 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 are you guys going? Ooh! Come on, I can I can kill you guys. No! There went my one day streak without dying. One day in game streak, no dying. Um, I don't know what happened there. Did my did I land on top of it or something, or did my elytra fail? No, my elytra seems fine still. I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened just then. Let's just gather up all my junk. Let's quickly pop back through here and we can shoot off again and try and destroy these phantoms. Well, once I finish explaining what I was trying to do anyway. So do my bits. Oops, let's grab the end chest that's over here. So what I was trying to say is that we're gonna We are gonna hook in and finish off. We're going to try and hook in and finish off this farm here. And that there is going to have a smel automatic smelter and all the kelp blocks will be going into the main system. There we go. No, not yet. Come on, I want to, I want to kill you before I go on to the next clip. Did I get you? No, come on. Die. Okay, we got you. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this item sorter by cleaning up inside the base, and I'll be back with you guys when we start work on the farms. See you guys in a split sec. Okay, everyone, the item sorter is working lovely, pumping all the items through. As you can see here, a bit of a backlog because I had a redstone torch lighting up there. So I've had to go ahead and fix that, but we you can see all the miscellaneous items, I'm going to call them, that we do not have item storage for. They're all just random bits of junk, really. I'll go through and clean out all the garbage out there shortly. But this is where we're going to be doing our first farm. And to start off, I think we're going to be doing ourselves a lovely melon and pumpkin farm. So I'm going to fix these bits up here. And I think I'm actually going to get rid of this little glass bit here. So I got rid of the front because I think the items might get stuck on that there. Okay, now that that there is done, we are going to place in ourselves our reserver, which I'm going to be doing a pumpkin plant here. Oops. 
looks like we have to do it around this way. Pumpkin, melon, and it's just going to go. And we're going to top on it like this here. So I'm going to just chuck on these observers here and we'll be back in a tick. Now we need to go along and place in our seeds, which we're going to be going along, which is going to be pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. All down the bottom is going to be pumpkins. And then behind this here, we go ahead and we place in, I believe it is behind, I'll do this right, it is straight behind the observers, we place in ourselves a solid block. And then down below that there, that's where we place in our lovely redstone. And then as soon as the melons upgrade and flip over, that should in theory, ouch. So I'm just going to get rid of those there, because I thought, yeah, it's going to push over things. Don't know what happened there. So I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another layer above this, and I'll be back with you guys in a tick. Okay, that farm is now all done. So I'm going to let that go ahead and grow away. I'll probably go ahead and bow me on this to speed it all up. And hopefully I'm about to slowly start getting some melons and pumpkins, which I'll see very shortly. So all I've got is this in here at the moment, and we'll see when they start filling up. So next off, we need to start work on our lovely sugarcane farm, which is only going to be one tier big, or one tier long. So it's just going along like this here, placing in these pieces of grass. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is where it's going to be ending, just along here. Okay, people, we now have a lovely sugarcane farm complete. It's quite a simple design. It just simply just pushes it, and that it is not efficient. It, it, there is quite a bit of loss. But next off, I thought we would work on just a very... Go away. Like a tiny, like, not even that big at all mini little tiny cactus farm shit there's some form of cactus cactus green or something but it's probably never going to be used so all it's going to be is two blocks high and that is it so to do this all I'm doing is just placing sand has to be up a block doesn't it so let's see if we can get away with taking it down the roof just a little bit more uh, get sick of blocks that fall down. Let's get rid of you and let's place in. I suppose we could do a slab off the ground. So that is going to go like so. Like so. Get rid of that there. Place in. We've got some sand here. Place in the sand. Place in the cactus. And then do we have another slab with us? Yes, we do. We have a slab there. And that is how the cactus farm will go. So to do stop the water from going over the edge, we're just going to place in going along like so. And I'm saying so quite a bit, aren't I? And place in some water. And that, that's, that's not going to work, is it? I have to build it up one block high, and that has just made a massive mess. Great. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this up and be back with you guys again in a tick. Okay, we've run this little room is now completed, and this is all it is. It's just a very little tiny little cactus farm, really. So I'm just gonna go ahead before I exit, I think, and I might actually add another little bit going down across here just to prevent any loss of this farm should be. Don't know if it's going to be efficient or not. Let's seal off that there, and then there should be no way that we should be able to lose too many pumpkins. If we just... Oh, we've run out. Okay, let's just group. place it down there. Place it down there. Place it down there, and that is pretty much everything for today's episode. Let's just get rid of that there. Place it down there, and there we go. That is how it should go, and all the items should flow straight into the farm or whatnot. 
Let's just quickly grab it, like, another couple of bits, and I'll be back with you guys in a the second. There we go, everyone. That was episode 15 for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And next time, we will be working on our lovely island, improving it, putting a roof over top of the storage system. So, yeah, hopefully it's going to be pretty good. I enjoyed this episode today. Got quite a lot done. The base is starting to come together, as you can sort of see the theme that will be going above the top there. Once we finish the island, of course. So I'm going to go ahead between now and next episode and do a little bit of AFKing and see actually if this farm works. I'll be writing down there number melons, pumpkins and sugarcane that we produce and a little bit of cactus as well. So I'll see you guys next time and let's go into my lovely view mode and let's just get out of that. Yep, there we go. No, there we go. Hope you guys all enjoyed watching and thanks for watching. And cue that outro. You can be my new dad.